All right, guys, give me 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. I just finished up doing a review on the JX Tactical in waistband holster. Not a big fan of in waistband holsters with loops. But after about a month of wearing this thing, I did find out it is actually a pretty decent one. So be on the lookout for that uh, video that's coming out later on this evening. Uh, I just wanted to uh, back up a video I just saw with uh, my man Jared over there at Guns and Gadgets. Guys, I'll be honest with you, man. With the, 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 the stuff that's going on with the fight against our Second Amendment, um, I, I think that that's what the, the chaps my ass, really, is that... We're sitting here, you've got a president who, well, is what, it, what he calls is our president, and he's sitting there going, if you don't support the assault weapons ban, then you don't support police, which is absolute, complete, and total bullshit. That guy's never told us truth in his entire life, which is why I, I totally consider him to be Ill, illegitimate as it can get. So uh, he's lied about every single thing that's in his future, and I guess because if you don't vote for him, you ain't black. That guy's an asshole, and I can't stand him. Uh, the, is, the quicker he is out of office, the better. Uh, and I cannot wait for the, 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 the election cycle this year because I'm pretty sure that we're going to take the House and the Senate, or at least I know the Democrats are not going to be in charge of the damn thing any longer. Nancy Pelosi, you need to go away. Uh, absolutely unreal. Okay, so why have I not done any videos on this stuff? Well, honestly, I, I knew it wasn't going to pass. Um, they did not have the backing. Uh, it would have been political suicide for a lot of these folks to even go that way. You got to think about it. Cicilline, you got Feinstein, um, a lot of people from some serious um, liberal areas in this world, and they don't have a problem going against it because in their state it's already you know something that's looked down upon. I mean, Cicilline, he's from what New Jersey? Well, shit, you can't piss in that state without having a, a permit. Uh, and if you do have a permit, you're going to have to have union support behind you. <laughs> so it's not a big thing for those guys to go ahead and do it. But what they don't realize is that there are a lot of people in democratically run states, okay, uh, where that's as far as it goes. Uh, uh, they are moderates. You've, uh, if they were to go against what uh, everybody is, considers our Second Amendment, they would be committing political suicide. It would say goodbye. Uh, they've said it before in the last uh, assault weapons ban. Uh, that was one of the turning points is that it, a lot of people lost their jobs because of that. They went ahead and voted it because, oh, it's the right thing to do. And they lost their ass. Bill Clinton will even tell you that. So that's one of the reasons why I really didn't do a whole lot on this. And every time you turn around, you've got now they're trying to go after the Lawful Commerce Act uh, to be able to sue uh fire manufacturers. It's it's a non-stop and it's a non-stop attack on our second amendment rights and everything that they want to do. And what's the problem is they go this bill was anything in excess of uh, what 10 rounds or something like that. So every single firearm including the firearm that I have on my waist right now is considered an assault weapon. <sighs> And then what are you going to do with the umpteen gazillion of firearms that are out there that now would be considered an assault weapon? Well, guys, let me just explain to you one thing. Um, everything uh, to these people should be outlawed. They want to be like New Zealand. They want to be like Australia. They want to do like Justin Trudeau did over there in Canada. They just overnight, unilaterally, outlaw everything that you own. And, oh, by the way, we're going to make a law now that says uh, you've got the next... Uh, 12 months to turn them in. Turn them in, folks. Feinstein, just like she said, I'd have everybody turn them in. Go screw yourself, lady. Cicilline, go screw yourself. Everybody. I am sick and tired of this thing, and it's one of the reasons why I, I can't literally make any comments on this because I will lose my cool, and I'll say something that I really would regret, and it'll come back to haunt me. So, yeah. I guess if you don't support the assault weapons ban, then you don't support police. Say goodbye to your career there, jackass, because you are done. And with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Jared, thanks for being a, a good advocate. And uh, John Crump also, he's out there kicking ass. Uh, Firearms Policy Coalition, Gun Arms of America, all those guys that continue to fight on a day-to-day -day basis, man. Kudos to you folks, because without your input, uh, without your fight, the continuous battle would be unopposed. 
With that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. So freedom comes in 9 millimeter uh, at 22 uh, rounds per magazine. What the hell are they going to do, folks? Come and get them? I don't think so. I had somebody ask me the other day what was in my case, and I said, it's uh, my guitar. I'm in a band called Molon Lowe. <laughs> it's KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.